We were traveling around and we found out that there was kids living in really modern-day orphanages in our state. Kids were coming into these orphanages without a toothbrush, without shampoo, any hygiene products. They were aging out with a black trash bag. I'm one of the 15,000 kids that are currently in a foster home. I'm just one of 700 kids that will age out of the system this year. I will only get a GED. I'm one of the eight that'll end up in prison or be homeless. I have no place to live and I'm scared. I'm one of the two girls that will become pregnant. I'm only one of three that will have a job. But hey, community, can we rally around these kids and provide the things that they're not able to have access to right now? And I said, we can do better. We've got to change this. I love these kids. They're like my own. They're like my family. And I think it's been so rewarding because it allows us to fill a gap that nobody else is filling. One of the pitfalls of being a foster kid is that they have a tendency just to give up. It's at the point when they lose hope that they lose focus. And so part of that is we know the world's big in front of you, but you've got this community that's been working with you and they're gonna support you. We're not leaving you, you're not leaving us. Because of you, I now have a suitcase instead of a trash bag. Because of you, I was able to find a job. Because of you, I have a toothbrush. Because of you, I now have a mentor. Because of you, I now have a future. Thank you. Thank you. We have a crisis in our state with kids in foster care, but we also have an amazing opportunity to make a difference. With your help, we can open up transition success centers, resource centers for foster kids in every city in our state so that kids can have access to resources, supplies, visitation rooms that they need to succeed and excel in every area of life. Help us to make a difference. Help us to change the culture of foster care in our state.